You're going to need a piece of paper out, please. We're going to talk about area of irregular shapes again. I'm going to show you it on graph paper. Now, you're not going to have graph paper, but I just want you to be able to see it so you can kind of get an idea. <coughs> Gabby, tell him. Gabby, will you point to him and say that Miss Piper needs him? <coughs> I know you don't have that kind of paper, Ava. Nobody has that kind of paper, baby. You sit down and face this way. Sit down and face me, not her. paper but when you do the problems they're not going to be on the graph paper so yes I know you do not have this graph paper but I'm just showing you so no write it down you're still there what page just a piece of paper So let me show you what I mean. So you're just gonna watch this one. Only watching, you're not writing. So if you have a pencil in your hand, you need to put it down. Yes, sir. Sure. No. Not right now, you don't need it right now. We're not writing yet. You're just watching. Don't write. So I'm going to draw a figure on here. You do not draw anything on your paper. Okay, so each one of these represents one inch. Okay, so if we were doing the area of just this, we could count our blocks, correct? But we have this extra right here. So what we need to do is we need to separate it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna separate it right here, and I'm gonna make it into two different rectangles. So now I'm going to have a green rectangle, you're just watching, and a blue rectangle. Because I cannot do the area of this whole thing all together. But when you have your paper, then they will already have the measurements on it. But this one doesn't have the measurements on it, so let's write the measurements in. So how many boxes is on this side? Three. How many is right here? Two. Two. Now before we move on, how many total is right here? One, two, three, four, five. 
But that's going to change, but we'll talk about that in a minute. How many is right here? One. How many is right here? Three. Three. And how many is right here? Two. Two. Now, when I broke this box apart, when I separated it right here, that changes this one to what? Three. Three. And changes this one to what? Two. Two. Because I separated them. You see what I'm doing there? So now can I do the area of both of these boxes, the green one and the blue one, and then add them together? Yes. Yes. So we can say, we'll say G for green. All right. So what? how do I figure out the area? Nope. That's the perimeter. Multiply. The length times the width, which what is the length? The length is two. Two. What is the width? Six. Not six. Three. It's from here to here. Times three, which will give me six. Three, two times three is six. Now, let's do the blue one. Blue, well, how would I do my area for this one? Three times one, which would be three. And my area, my total area, then I would have to add them together, would be nine squares. We don't have to say square inches because we didn't have an inch or... See how I broke this figure up into two different figures to help me figure it out. All right, so let me make another one. Now let's write all of our dimensions on here. So let's start at the top. We have one, two, three, four, five. We'll say five inches. And then down we have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches. Across we have three inches. Up this way we have one, two, three, four, five inches. And then here we have, excuse me, one, two, two inches, and then we have two inches. Now, where do you think the best place for me to um, partition it or break it apart would be? Nathan, you want to come up here and point? Where, point to where you think I should partition it at. Here. Right there. Very good. So what would be the easiest way to make two different rectangles or squares? So now, looking at this, we do we know the dimensions for this one? No. What are you doing? We're doing area. Do we know the dimensions for this one? Yes. Yes, so we don't even have to really break it apart because we know that this right here is, we know it's already three inches. So that means up here is seven. three inches. Seven, right there. Seven across. Not seven across, seven down. So now I can dip my colors. It just helps me to visualize. Helps you to visualize. So we'll say the bigger one is blue this time. Smaller one is green. So I know now I have two different figures. So can I do the area of both of these figures? Yes. 
So I can say blue equals, what would my area be? Length times width, which is what? Seven times, seven times three, which would give me 21. 21 inches squared, squared inches. And then I have my green one, which is a what by what? Two by two. two, by two. So two times two, which would give me four, four square, inches. square inches or inches squared. And then what do I need to do to both of them to figure out the area of all of it? We need to add it. 25 inches squared. So if I was to count all of these boxes, we said there's 21 right here, 22, 23, 24, 25. Now, let's look at a blank figure without having the boxes. Let me draw it off. All right, so I'm going to say this is nine inches, this is five inches, four inches, three inches. This is six inches. Is he saying that? So, here is my new figure. Hold on. Hold on one second. Now, where would be the best place to partition it or break, apart, break it apart? Sebastian, come point. Okay, so you want to do from here up. Yep, we can do it there. There's actually two different ways you can do it. You can do it from here up, or you can do it across this way. Either way, we would get the same answer. Very good. So now let's take it, and just so we can see it, let me take my two colors. I'll go green and red this time. So I'm going to make this one my 6 by 5 a green one. And then my four by three, a red one. Okay, I'm just showing you how to be able to know that it's two different rectangles now. It's not just one. Because that changes a lot, I think. So now, let's look, let's see. Do I have my dimensions for my length and width for my green one? Yes. Yes, what is my green length and width? Six times five. Six times what? Six times five. Is that nine still nine? No. no, because that would actually, we broke that apart. It would actually be a five right here and a what right here? Four. Four, because anything across from it is the same length. That means this side would be six, this side would be five. Okay, so now we can say green equals what times what? Six times five, which equals what? 30. 30 inches squared. Stop, please. And then we can say our red one would equal what? Oh, four, four, times four. Times seven. four times what? Three. Three which would be, because I got four and three, 12 inches squared. And then now what do I need to do? Add them. So 30 plus 12 would be 42 inches squared. All right, I'm gonna draw a figure on my thing. You're gonna draw it on your paper and you're gonna work it out. I'm gonna come around and check. It doesn't have to be to scale, but you need to at least 
Yes, you're drawing. What do I draw? So you have been given all of the dimensions. Draw it, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I need to see that you have separated them. It should look somewhat like a pot. Draw that. Now let me figure out the answer. Make sure your dimensions are where they're supposed to be. You ready? Hold on. Say that again. If it helps you, yes. If it helps you, you can break out two colors. doing area sir we don't need the perimeter because we've got all the dimensions we're just doing area ready to be checked, raise your hand.
colors if we need to.
partitioned it. So I'm going to draw the figure a second time so we can see both of the ways you could have partitioned it or broke it apart. So I'm just going to redraw. It's probably not going to look the same, but you know, hey, that's what we do here. We just pretend. Just go for it. Looks somewhat similar. I'm going to put my dimensions on there. Seven inch, eight inch, twelve inch. Okay, so let's do the first way we can partition it is we're gonna partition it right here. So when I cut it right there, so if I had a paper, I can go this way and say that this is one. 
and then this is one. Or I could say this is one, and then this is one. Okay, you see what I'm saying here? I can break it up to being two different figures. So now I can figure out the area for this one and the area for this one. So, now my dimensions are changing. If I didn't already know that this was a five, I would have to figure out what this was by saying 12 minus seven, which would give me um, five. But because I already know my dimensions, I don't have to worry about that. So I can say, all right, let me add some color just for visual reference. I'm gonna say this one is red, this one is green. So now I have two different dimensions. Now I could also break it apart right here. Okay, so this one is green. This one is red. Okay, so I still have, this is still the same shape. I just broke it up two different ways. Now, let's figure out, so let's do our green one first. Our green one's dimensions are a what by what? Right here on this first one, right here. Eight by seven. Eight by seven. It's right here, eight by seven. So eight times seven, seven times seven is 49, seven times eight is 56 inches squared. And then now I can do my red one. My red one is a what? It is a five by two. So that'd be five times two, which would give me 10 inches squared. 56 plus 10 is 66 inches squared. Now another way you could have done it. All right, so now we have our green one. Our green one is a what by what now? It is a two by five. Two by, nope. It is a, look, we have our length right here and our width. It is a 12 by two. Because when I broke that apart, I pretty much just took that five off. So now I have this long piece right here. And then I have this piece right here. Okay, and then my red is a what? Not an eight, because remember, I took off two of that. This is two, so that means this has to be six. So it's a seven by six. Seven by six, so 12 times two is 24. Seven times six is 42. Add it, four plus two is six. Two plus four is six. 66 inches square. Good job. All right, let's do another one. Now this one is going to be partitioned into three different an A, A rectangle, a B rectangle, and a C rectangle. So draw it like I do. Um, let's see. It's gonna be 15. Be five, five, and five. And this is going to be seven, seven, two, and two. So draw your figure. It doesn't have to be to scale, meaning it doesn't have to look exactly like it, but it needs to look somewhat like this. And put your dimensions. And try doing that one on your own. Quickly, please. Everybody should be working on this paper.
अभी आप कितनी ज्यादा ताकत है Don't ever think it. This is a lot easier than you think. partition into three different figures. Three different figures. I've got to do it myself. Give me a minute. getting the same answer both ways that I did. One dimension is off. Okay. Mm -hmm.
So let's partition it. No, you cannot put. I don't. That just looks wrong. All right. So I, what I'm going to do, which I see is easy, is I'm going to break it up into three different shapes, three different rectangular, the regular rectangles. Okay. So I have a 15 by blank because it's no longer seven. I have a two by five. Now. 
can get some lighter colors out so y'all can see. All right, I'm going to light blue, yellow, and orange. Do the blue again. Is that better? Okay, so when I partitioned it or broke it apart, I changed this is a, a what by what now? A five. a five by two. So that means this would equal two as well. And this is five right here. This would equal two as well. This is five right here. So this is, we'll say this is A, this is B, we'll say this is C. But is my C length seven anymore? My seven is now a five because what I have to do is whatever these two are, they have to add up to be seven because that was my original number. But now I said that this right here across is a 15 by five. So I have rectangle C, which is now a 15 times five, 15 by five. I have B which is a five by two, or two by five, and then I have C, which is a five by two as well. So I can do the area for each one of these. <clears throat> Should be right back. So now I can do, if. So I can, since I separated it, now I can do the area of all three figures and then add them together. So I have a 15 times five, a five by two, and another five by two. I have C, B, A. C, B, A. We're going to be saying blue is a 15 by 5. Yellow is a 5 by 2. And orange is a 5 by 2. What's 15 times 5? Well, then I'm going to say 15 times 5. Well, 5 times 5 is 25. Put down my 5, regroup my 2. 5 times 1 is 5. Plus 2 is Five plus two is seven. So that is 75. And then five times two is 10. Five times two is 10. Now I can add 75 plus 10 plus 10 would be 95. If it was inches, yes, it'd be inches squared or centimeter squared. It'd be 95 squared. That's cute. All right, let's try another one. I'm gonna do another one that has three different figures. I mean, 
Not really, if you just use your dimensions to help you. Yes. Ready? What? You got a question? Yeah. Speak a little louder. You need help? How do we know which numbers to add? You're not adding, you're multiplying. Oh, by getting the area of each individual rectangle. How do you know? Because when you partition it or you break it apart, it'll give you the dimensions for each one of them. Alex, did you do this problem, buddy? Do the problem? Omar, you do this problem? Mari, sorry, I sped, said your name wrong. All right, well, I need you to be doing it, please.